All right, so here is the uh, current setup we got. We started with one of these EG4 batteries, and now we got two in parallel, and they are powering the 48 volt inverter, and it's working good. It's powering almost the whole house. It's got uh, powering a four circuit transfer switch, and it's powering this fridge and. Um, this is my old setup there, and uh, the 12 volt setup. So here we're gonna get a new rack for these these batteries here, and these are powered by the Victron uh, charge controller. There's the disconnect for that, and that comes from I have 10 uh, solar panels hooked up to that, 250 watt trinas. All right, we're disconnecting everything. Getting it taken apart. So here is the updated product with the two EG force, 48 volt in the rack. Um, the bus bars are up there, sitting on this rack. Um, and the inverter is back here. It didn't quite fit. I know I still may have to get a deeper rack here, but it's working. Um, and then I have the charge controller behind that. And it is about three o'clock, 3.30 right now. It's late August. The batteries are both full. Um, they've been charging all day, so it's at 100%. Um, the inverter is feeding this basically half a house on that transfer switch via that number 12. We're probably going up to upgrade that to number 10. And it's also feeding this, which is some of my upstairs circuits with a fridge up here as well, mini fridge. And here in the hallway is where I got the, the gauge here for the battery. So we're at 100%. So we're using 270 watts here. This is on uh, two different shunts, one for for the battery itself and one going to the inverter. So that's telling the net that's adding or being lost. This is telling what's being used. And, and again, here's the transfer switch. So we got the furnace, the living room, fridge, and laundry on it. So that's feeding almost half the house of the main, you know, main draws. And the air just kicked on, so we're using 830 watts, but we're really netting almost zero right now because we're getting that from the solar panels. So we're just sitting at 100 till later in the evening till the sun goes down. Got the air running. Let's also turn the laundry on. Now we're using some watts. We're using 1600 there now. So, oh, it just went down to 1100 because the, the gas the dryer probably turned down. Going good. So the fans on the inverter will kick, kick on and you know, times like that when the, you're using a lot of power, but it's been chugging along just fine. So that's it, that's where we're at. Let's check the Victron app too here. So we got Victron, we're floating 1100, 1200 watts. Floating means we're at hundred percent. check the history so here we are we've been pretty much floating every day for the last few at, and last weekend when we probably did more laundry they were using more watts and that's that so we've got about 12 kilowatt hours max this past month not bad